I just went to Baltimore Comic Con this past weekend, and boy did I have a good time. Tiff and I actually met up with Rob and Benny from the Weekly Poll, nice. and we just went around and hung out and did some cool stuff. What we did do, actually, was get a few recommendations for upcoming episodes of Back Issues. Oh, so cool. you guys might want to stay tuned for what's coming up next. I think you'll be actually pretty surprised about the recommendations that we got. I'm going to recommend uh, one of my favorite uh, uh, graphic novel stories of all time. It's uh, by uh, Miyazaki, the guy behind Spirited Away and Princess Mononoke and all those great movies. Uh, he made a manga, a Japanese uh, comic book, called Naushika of the Valley of Wind. And it is absolutely stunning. I'm cheating because it's actually four volumes. But it is, uh, it's, it's big, crazy world-building sci-fi uh, with this amazing heroine. And uh, it's a tremendous kind of um, conflict among entire societies, as well as a very personal kind of coming-of-age story of this girl. So it's tremendous. So that's my recommendation. I'd probably recommend Ronin, or Ronin, which was Frank Miller's work for DC, a miniseries he did right before The Dark Knight Returns, which everybody knows. But it was a very cool concept, sort of a sci-fi mixed with mythology, and it gives you kind of an insight to some of the stuff he was going to explore in The Dark Knight Returns. You guys should totally read Classic Archie. My back issue recommendation is a trade paperback from Marvel called Omega the Unknown. It's from the 70s, it's by Steve Gerber and Jim Mooney, and it was a transformative series for me when I was a kid. It is, it's brilliant, it's satiric, it's weird, it's a strange twist on the Superman mythos, and I cannot recommend it highly enough. The tragedy is, the book was canceled before the story sort of came to an end, so in the trade paperback version, there it kind of, don't expect a big wham bam conclusion, it sort of peters out, um, and Steve Gerber never gave up the secret of where the character came from or what the secret origins of the character were. But that said, it's just, it was irreverent, like I said, smart, and very, very weirdly deep of that time. I love that book, Omega the Unknown. Something that everybody has read, so eventually you're going to be asked, uh, have you read Alan Moore's From Hell? Have you? because it's like the seminal thing that happened uh, about 10, 15 years ago, I guess. And it's this really big, thick book. And it's weird because it, it has these, you know, kind of simple looking line drawing art. But when you're reading the story, you feel like you're reading, you know, this literary novel. I mean, uh, and he has this his own take on this conspiracy theory about who Jack the Ripper is. From Hell's about Jack the Ripper. So, if you have any interest at all in scandal, or conspiracy theories, or uh, how messed up was Victorian England, and the Masons, and how it all works together to bring about the apocalypse, all coming from Alan Moore's house, somewhere in the middle of Nottingham, England, this is a must read. Ladies first? Power pack. <laughs> <laughs> you should say what it is, maybe, maybe not. But I would recommend Ragnarok, a book I'm currently doing for IEW, but six issues are out. And there will be a hardcover collection coming out just before Thanksgiving. So you can take it apart, put it back together. Hope you like it. I would recommend uh, Superman vs. Muhammad Ali. Superman vs. Muhammad Ali is a comic book or a graphic novel that mixes a real life character in with a comic book superhero in a time when America was 50% uh, against and 50% for Ali and at a time when, uh, when the rest of the world was looking at America as being the leader and somehow they got a comic book that implied that America was further ahead than we even thought we were. Uh, and so the, all the free countries of the Western world reprinted that book um, uh, and so that it sold millions around the world. I highly recommend that for a discussion or for review and uh, give it a give it a shot. I think it's that's probably the best shot you could take. I think I'd suggest the Death of Captain Marvel. Uh, aside from the fact that it's something I did myself, so I know what I'm talking about. Uh, I've always got the best reaction from folks on this particular one. Uh, it's the end of Marvel's original Captain Marvel. Uh, he dies of cancer, 
uh, which is something that my own father had passed away of six months before when I started it. So doing this book was a very cheap form of therapy for me. And uh, the reactions I've got from it, especially from people who have lost somebody from cancer or been cancer survivors themselves, have been very positive. Uh, it's a tearjerker. I'll be quite frankly about that. I was blatantly uh, heavy-handed about that, and uh, I think it worked out pretty well. It also has an uh, interesting story because I dislocated a finger just before I uh, had to start inking the book. And so what I ended up having to do was ink it with microns and every morning I would get in and I would take the micron pen like this into my hand, ink up the book and then at lunchtime I take it off and then afterwards put it back on and go back to work. And as a result, it's kind of an interesting book because there's no long lines because I'm incapable of doing it. It's a lot of little hash mark uh, kind of rendering things. So that alone makes it kind of an interesting uh, story all by itself. I think Bad News should check out Inhuman because uh, it's the story of the Inhumans who have an incredibly convoluted history in the Marvel Universe and uh, I bet it would be really, really fun to, uh, to try or someone try to explain all that crazy stuff. There you have it! From some of the top creators in the comic book industry today, some recommendations for back issues. Thought that was kind of fun. We're trying some new stuff out here on their uh, our con videos. Yeah, I'm excited to see some of this stuff happen. Yeah, me too. Especially with the uh, the comics that you tweeted. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Those are those are coming up, and there's some unexpected ones as well that I'm more than a little excited to share with you. Uh, also, by the way, on Friday, October second, Ben and I are going to be at Oh Yeah Comics in Harrison, New York, at 6 p.m. Doing a little thing with a SUNY purchase. That would be kind of fun. Yep. So we'll be there. You can check that out. Uh, also, we're going to be at New York Comic Con starting October 10th. And we're going to do a whole slew of video coverage for that. You're going to see everybody associated with Comic Pop and maybe in a few surprises from the weekly polls. So stay tuned for that as well. We'll see you guys next time. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Ben. Thanks a lot for watching.